Hi, it's Katrina. From beautiful tigers that were alive until recently to Ice Age rhinos, here are nine animals that scientists want to bring back to life. Number 9. Caspian Tiger The Caspian Tiger was among the world's largest big cats until it went extinct during the 1960s. It was once present throughout Turkey and much of Central Asia, including Iran, Iraq, and parts of northwestern China, according to Science Alert. Hunting, habitat loss, and food shortages wiped the species out a little over halfway through the 20th century. An early 2017 study published in the journal Biological Conservation proposed reintroducing the Caspian tiger by releasing specimens of its genetically similar relative, the Siberian tiger, into habitats formerly occupied by the Caspian subspecies. According to the authors, the Siberian tiger's phenotype proves adaptable to the arid conditions of the introduction site. It would likely take over a decade to bring the introduced population to a sustainable level in the Ili River Delta, which seems like the most appropriate place to attempt to revive the Caspian tiger. There, they could hunt wild boar, bukhara deer, and roe deer. An introduced population of 40 tigers could reach 100 within 50 years of its release into the habitat, which would mark tremendous progress in keeping endangered tigers on the planet. But there are implications to the proposed endeavor, including the need to ensure that tigers and humans can coexist peacefully, as well as the requirement to restore prey populations before introducing tigers to the region which would take up to 15 years. But scientists are seriously looking into it and starting to plan just in case. Number 8. The Dodo Bird Native to the island of Mauritius, the dodo was a large, flightless bird that grew up to 3 feet tall and weighed as much as 40 pounds. It went extinct during the 1600s, following the arrival of humans and their non-native animal friends, such as dogs, cats, and rats. In a 2018 research paper, scientists suggested that it may be possible to revive the extinct dodo population by using the genes of its closest living relatives. The proposal came following the discovery of the overall genomic structure of dinosaurs, which may come in handy for bringing the dodo and several other extinct birds back to life. Birds are considered dinosaurs' closest living relatives, and more recently extinct species with genetically similar descendants may therefore stand a chance at revival. University of Kent scientists Darren Griffith and Rebecca O'Connor wrote in an article for The Conversation, Nevertheless, and it is a long shot, it may be possible in the future to use Jurassic Park technology to help undo some of the harm that humans have caused. When asked which extinct animal would be the most fun to revive, ancient DNA expert and biologist Beth Shapiro told Smithsonian Magazine that the dodo was an ideal candidate because it's very silly looking and has several weird traits. On a more serious note, she explained that if the dodo were to be brought back, it could be restored to protected habitats on Mauritius, where people could go to observe dodos in their native habitat. Number 7. Woolly Mammoth The last surviving population of woolly mammoths died out around 4,000 years ago on Wrangell Island off Siberia after centuries of inbreeding. By the time they went extinct, the creatures were sickly, weak, neurologically damaged, and far less fertile than they were during their heyday. Mammoths lived recently enough for scientists to harvest genetic material from their remains, raising questions about the possibility of de-extinction through the use of ancient DNA. Doing so is more complicated than it seems, especially because there were many mammoth species throughout the prehistoric world, and scientists are still trying to figure out where each of them belongs on the evolutionary family tree. There's also evidence that mammoths interbred, further blurring the lines between different species and giving single species a wide-ranging variety of characteristics, but that might make it easier to bring them back. This complicates the process of reviving mammoths, though, leaving scientists with tricky decisions about which traits they would hand-select to incorporate into mammoth offspring. Cloning mammoths isn't currently possible because doing so would require an intact and viable mammoth cell, which is unlikely to ever be found, according to biologist and ancient DNA expert Beth Shapiro. However, other scientists believe that it is possible and claim to actually be working on it right now, with DNA taken from intact frozen mammoths appearing in Siberia. The most probable method for bringing back mammoths would involve tweaking the DNA of its closest modern pachyderm relative, the Asian elephant, to more closely resemble the ancient creature. Best case scenario, whatever scientists created using this method would still be the product of guesswork. 
This new creature might lack genetic variations that mammoths possessed at certain times or in specific regions. Even if the genetically modified mammoth-like animal looked genuine, it would need to be able to survive in environments much different than those its ancestors lived in, since the world has changed a lot over 10,000 years. The most likely places would be the coldest, where the mammoths might be able to get enough food. And now for number 6. But first, be sure to subscribe if you are new here and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Should we try to bring these animals back to life? If so, which ones? And why? Number 6. Stellar Sea Cow As a Cyrenian, the Stellar Sea Cow was most closely related to the dugong and manatees. Scientist George Wilhelm Steller first described it in 1741, during a voyage across the Bering Sea. While stranded on an island, Steller and his crew encountered colonies of these sea cows, who measured up to 25 feet long and weighed as much as 6 tons each. Within 27 years of Steller's discovery, the species was completely wiped out due to overhunting. After spending millions of years as an important participant of its marine ecosystem, the Steller sea cow was more or less wiped out in the blink of an eye. After surviving the quaternary extinction event at the end of the Pleistocene epoch, Steller sea cows were found exclusively in frigid Arctic waters. Their rapid extinction helped bring awareness to the academic community that it is actually possible to entirely wipe out a marine species at human hands. Humanity's role in the animal's demise has inspired some scientists and experts, including science writer Carl Zimmer, to advocate for its revival. But researchers admittedly know very little about the species, leaving them to speculate regarding its behavior and biology and whether bringing it back to life is even an option. Number 5. Labrador Duck the Labrador duck is believed to have become extinct during the late 19th century due to suspected human-related causes, despite its reputation for not tasting very good. The bird was already rare when European settlers arrived in North America. The last specimens were collected during the 1870s, and the last known sighting occurred in 1878 in Elmira, New York. Bird expert Brian Fox Ellis told the Star Gazette in late 2016 it is a sea duck that was almost exclusively found along the Atlantic coast between Baltimore and Chesapeake Bay and Labrador, and rarely found inland, so why one was found here, I'm not sure. Consequently, there is little information available about the Labrador duck, and there are only 55 preserved specimens in museums throughout the world. Scientists are admittedly unsure of what its breeding habits involved, and the species' extinction remains shrouded in mystery as well. Humans may have overhunted their eggs or driven them away from their natural habitat, or they may have fallen victim to the feather trade, but it's hard to say what happened for sure. Some bird enthusiasts believe that the Labrador duck never went fully extinct, and that there are some holdout individuals and populations waiting to be discovered. But in Ellis' words, this bird is gone, and it will take another heaven and another earth to create another species of its like. A January 2017 Science Alert article stated that scientists want to bring the Labrador duck back, but information on this alleged endeavor is scarce, leaving us to wonder whether reviving the species is truly part of any researcher's plans. Number 4. Woolly Rhinoceros Woolly rhinos lived during the same Ice Age period as woolly mammoths, yet their remains are much rarer. Scientists also know far less about them, including their placement on the evolutionary timeline and information about their lifestyles and habits. The species went extinct roughly 14,000 years ago after roaming Eurasia for hundreds of thousands of years, for reasons that are not entirely clear. Researchers long speculated that human activity, such as overhunting, may have been a causal factor. Genetic abnormalities were also suspected of wiping the creature out, but recently published research in the journal Current Biology suggests that climate change played a role in the woolly rhino's disappearance. While the species' demise came some 16,000 years after humans arrived in its region, its extinction also coincides with a 2,000-year-long severe warming period known as the bowling alarod interstadial. During this time, ice sheets melted rapidly and sea levels rose by roughly 50 feet. Woolly rhinos may have been unable to cross the Bering Land Bridge that once connected modern-day Siberia to Alaska due to an inability to adapt to a tundra climate, leaving them with no choice but to perish. Only a few intact woolly rhino specimens have ever been discovered. In 2015, the complete carcass of a seven-month-old woolly rhino known as Sasha was found in a frozen Siberian riverbank, offering a glimmer of hope for the possibility of harvesting genetic material. Scientists started looking at the idea of being able to clone the extinct creature. 
As of now, the process seems wildly complicated and therefore unlikely to happen super soon, but it also hasn't been ruled out as impossible. Besides the fact that the woolly rhino has no known modern relatives appropriate for using in the de-extinction process, bringing non-existent animals back to life poses major ethical quandaries, leaving experts with questions of whether they should revive long-gone creatures, even if they can. Right now, our current rhino survival is hanging by a thread, so there is much debate as to whether it would be a good idea to bring back an extinct one. Number 3. Irish Elk the Irish elk was one of the largest deer species that ever existed, with antlers measuring as much as 12 feet across. It roamed throughout Eurasia mostly during the Pleistocene, with the most recent known remains of the creature dating back to around 7,700 years ago. The animal's range was not restricted to Ireland. It received its name due to the remarkably well-preserved fossils that have been found in the country. Irish elk carcasses are increasingly turning up among melting permafrost in Siberia, offering scientists a potential opportunity to harvest their DNA and perhaps clone them or use other means to bring them back to life. It's believed that the species went extinct as a result of its antlers becoming unmanageably heavy and large. Another theory suggests that Irish elk were incapable of coping with a warming climate, posing the question of whether it would be wise to try to bring them back. With less land than ever for wild animals to roam and a rapidly changing climate, the planet may not be in the best condition for hosting a gigantic mammal's comeback. The sad reality is that if the Irish elk were to return to life today, it would most likely only be able to survive under human supervision at a zoo or in a lab. Number 2. The Moa The idea of using Jurassic Park technology to revive extinct species has become increasingly realistic in recent years, especially when it comes to bringing back ancient birds. An extinct flightless bird endemic to New Zealand called the Little Bush Moa is among the top candidates for revival. The Little Bush Moa abruptly went extinct during the 13th century due to overhunting, but in early 2018, a team of Harvard University researchers announced that they successfully assembled a near-complete genome of the bird, offering hope of its eventual return to existence. Using groundbreaking DNA sequencing technology, they inserted the extinct Moa's genetic material into an emu egg, then painstakingly assembled the 900 nucleotides into their correct positions. Throughout the study, researchers determined that the moa was related to the kiwi, ostrich, and emu birds. There were nine moa species total, with the little bush moa being the smallest and most common among them. On average, the little bush moa was 4 feet tall and weighed around 66 pounds. While some scientists are all for trying to revive ancient birds, others do not believe it's a great idea. But the idea of de-extinction is not necessarily limited to bringing back extinct species. It could prove useful for saving modern creatures facing the threat of extinction. De-extinction could be useful for inspiring new science and could be beneficial for conservation if we ensure it doesn't reduce existing conservation resources, University of Queensland scientist Hugh Possingham said in a statement. However, in general, it is best if we focus on the many species that need our help now. Number 1. Pyrenean Ibex the Bucardo, or Pyrenean ibex, was a subspecies of Spanish ibex that was formally declared extinct in the year 2000, when the last known surviving female was found dead in Spain. The animal's demise came after a 200-year period of increased hunting in the region, and scientists' interest in reviving it came almost immediately following its extinction. In 2009, using genetic material harvested from frozen skin samples of the last surviving Pyrenean ibex, researcher and study author Jose Folch and his colleagues created clone embryos by inserting the deceased creature's DNA into goat eggs, which were emptied of their own material. These eggs were implanted in 208 specimens of Spanish ibex subspecies. Seven became pregnant, and just one carried to term. The youngster died from respiratory failure immediately after birth, which the researchers somewhat expected. Despite the creature's death, experts hailed the resurrection as a major scientific accomplishment, but they cautioned people to avoid becoming too hopeful about the process. The public should not leap to the conclusion that we are on the edge of cloning woolly mammoths or dinosaurs, scientist David Wilt told National Geographic. Even if such embryos could be constructed, there are no appropriate surrogate mothers for long dead species. Thanks for watching! Would you like to learn more about extinct animals scientists are trying to bring back to life? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye!